Madame Renault had a great respect for American soldiers and the British boys too, uh, who fought it normally. But we, American 82nd Airborne Division men and 101st Airborne uh, Paratroopers and Glider men, that, that was our area. And she had a, a great respect for uh, soldiers. Now, that has, uh, oh, I think her mannerisms of shaking hands or giving a, uh, a lovely kiss to uh, American soldiers or that type of thing. It has gone down the ladder to the children and grandchildren uh, over the years. And now those children and grandchildren, they're grown up now. And they continue it with their children. So that this just does not cease. When you go over to St. Mary Glees and you see these, these people and the little children and so forth that have an American flag as well as a French flag. Uh, they have some kind of a little parachute. And uh, I'm talking about four and five or six year old kids. Uh, 12 or 13 or 14, young boys and girls, French boys and girls. And that came from Madame Renault and Mayor Alexander Renault. Yes, Madame Renault had a great respect which trickled down to all of the family and, and friends and children and now grandchildren that have uh, great respect for the American soldiers who fought there. And they understand that it was the American soldiers at that time who gave them their freedom during war when the Germans had occupied that area. So they were under the control of the Germans and uh, practically terrorists and, and uh, who had no control, no voting rights. And if you were disobedient, they killed you. So when we come in, we liberated them uh, when we were combat soldiers, they uh, tried to kill us and we were doing the same thing to them, but we liberated Normandy and across and all the way across Europe to destroy Hitler and his Nazi army. And so now we have a free Europe. And uh, Madame Renault never fought that. Now, um, Alexander Renault was the mayor on D-Day and for years after. Uh, has his following mayors, like Bob Constans, a great, great man of the greatest respect, was also a freedom fighter and uh, for the Free French. Uh, mayor Marc Lefebvre, who's been the mayor for many, many years now, has absolute respect uh, for the Americans. This, he can't do enough of them. This is what has trickled down from Mayor Alexander Renault and Madame Renault's constant contact with the AVA, and uh, th there is nothing that they cannot do to help or give show their support for Americans by huge lunches and dinner parties put on for the American veterans and the members of the AVA, and not a veteran has ever had to pay for this. They they show their appreciation. Now, is there 60 years of showing appreciation? That's a long time. So it isn't something that, well, thank you very much and goodbye. Uh, as you know, from the 60th anniversary, there were uh, uh, several hundred thousand people in the Normandy area, and including the President of the United States and France and Germany and the Queen of England. And so this is something, that freedom from the German yoke and the, and the Japanese would have controlled the world and kept us under submission uh, and took away our freedom, such as Hitler did in France and Poland and such as Mussolini did down in Italy. So those people are gone and they have freedom and democracy in most areas. So that Madame Renault and Mayor Renault, and the following mayors, every single one of them, like Bob Constance and presently Mark 
Mark Lefebvre, there's nothing that they wouldn't do to show their appreciation to the Americans.